Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to deploy our Spring Boot application to Heroku. The first thing you need is you need to install this Heroku CLI in your machine. So you can follow the installation uh, steps in this document and then you would be able to run the Heroku CLI commands. And I already have that uh, in my workstation. And in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, deploy the application, this Spring Security Tutorials uh, application um, to the Heroku and you can do the same thing, just clone this repository and follow the steps we are going to do in this tutorial. Now let's start with that. Here in the terminal, I'm running Heroku login. This is the first command you should be running. Uh, after you hit the enter, it's going to be popping up a page like this one. You would be clicking to this login and then you would be entering your credentials. Then after you close this window, you will be back to the this part. I'm just quitting because I already logged in. And we have the, the project here. I'm in the, the folder of the project. Let's check it here. So this is the Spring project. First, we are going to create a new Heroku application and we do that by running Heroku create. So this is generating an application like this one, this random name. We could give our own name or we could have created an application on the, the dashboard of the Heroku. All are fine. If I type git remote. This is going to be listing my remote repositories. Let's type the v2 to see the exact URL. So this is the Heroku. This is my origin, this GitHub. And this is the Heroku with this pad. So basically this is creating, this command is creating an application on Heroku and also adding this new remote repository to our current project. Now, all we will do is pushing the repository from my local to this new remote. And I'm just going to run the git command, git push Heroku and the branch I want to push and I want to push the main branch. So it is detecting the Java application, but we have a problem here. It is installing Java 1.8. Later we will fix that. So it is downloading the dependencies based on what it sees in the POM XML. And now we can see it is failing because the Java version is not what we are asking it to. So, so here it is saying the compile step is failing and it is saying invalid target release 11. So this is Java 11. We are developing with Java 11, but the Heroku by default is trying to run our application with the Java version 8. We can fix that by uh, adding uh, properties to our application folder. So here is the, the project. Now we are going to create a file under this directory right at the the folder where the POM XML is. So creating a new file. The file name is system properties. And in this file, we will set Java runtime version to be 11. Now going back to the terminal. Now let's add the changed changes to index and let's commit these changes. Let's say set Heroku runtime Java version to 11. Now the changes are committed. Again, we are going to run git push Heroku and we will push our main branch. Now we are seeing it is installing JDK 11. So we expect nothing to fail at this point. So the build operation is success. 
and it is launching the application and here it is printing out the URL we are going to access to our application with this URL so let's copy that one and from this console we can get the logs of our application by running Heroku logs dash dash tail so here we are seeing our spring application is initializing currently it is not up yet so the application is started now we can access to this application with the url we have seen so opening the postman so this is the url and if we check our code here we have this endpoint like this one this public let's try this one let's try to access to this public endpoint and here we are receiving this is public endpoint message and the others are secured so if we try to access to this secured we will be receiving this 401 unauthorized response so basically our application is now working on the Heroku and that is how we are deploying our application with the Heroku CLI to it but the downside of this current implementation is if we restart the application the all the data is lost so even we are storing our database uh, h2 database in a file if the application is restarted that database is going to be removed so for those cases you can check the document right here we can add add-ons to our application and it will be printing out the URLs and we can use these informations in our application properties and we can point our application to this database so that if anytime we restart our application the data will be stored right here in the the, the PostgreSQL of the Heroku providing and also you can see the uh, sample here here's how it is adding the PostgreSQL to the Spring project and also adding this configuration and that's it so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorials